Any cards you had? Could you just walk her forward and stand her up the hill, please? Master Judge, the whole scene is the most popular dairy breed in the world today due to its unrivalled ability to calve in at 24 months and produce large amounts of high quality milk and a long level lactation curve. Now recently the breed has been criticised for lacking longevity and hardiness. Now what I'm looking for as a breeder to overcome this problem is a long, powerful but a commercially sized dairy animal with a deep open rib, well balanced rub, well connected and capacious in udder, but most importantly in my opinion sound legs and feet. The animal must also possess plenty of breed character which takes us to this cow before he's here today. She shows tremendous character through her head. Her head is carried by a long stretchy neck which blends well into a sharp, clean and angular shoulder with this sharpness and cleanness continuing through a long level and hard top line. Now when you stand back and look at this animal from the side, she shows plenty of height, length and power for me on a commercial basis. She's clean foot down through her brisket. She's got plenty of depth through heart, side and flank with an open and well sprung rib with plenty of body and capacity. Now the back third of the cow is the most important part. She should have plenty of length between hook and pin bone which she has. I would like to see her slightly less prominent of her hook bones and slightly less prominent of her pin bones here today. But she shows tremendous width between her pin bones with this width mirrored and a high, wide and well connected udder with this width carrying down and forward through the sole of her udder which is welded onto the body of the cow. She's shown tremendous veination and tremendous teeth placement within her udder. Now the animal tracks well here today. She shows good clean flinty bone legs and she's well up in her pasterns but I would just like to see her with a slight more depth for her heel here today. So in conclusion, she's a tremendous example of the breed showing tremendous character and for five calves a tremendous udder here today but I would just like to see her slightly less prominent of her hook bones with more depth of heel and if you've got any questions I'd be more than happy to answer them.